Hey yo, what up? It's Healthy Visions coming at you with yet another video. Today we have got a solo session with D-R-A with the accent Aku. It is Dre. And our question is, I have tried and tried and tried to get my boyfriend to communicate with me, but it is just not happening. I'm getting nothing from him. So do you have any advice? Because I have no idea what to do. Man, you are not alone. Let me first tell you that um, there are a lot of individuals who have troubles with their boyfriend um, in regards to talking. So uh, I want you to first know that. So where shall I start? Um, one thing I want to say is this. It is not your responsibility to make anybody do anything, uh, especially when it comes down to talking or communicating. They have to have an interest and see the benefit of actually um, talking and let me start light before and work my way up here. If you're referring to just you guys started dating and you're going out on dates and, you know, you guys just sit there and, you know, text and you're on your phones and you're not really communicating with one another because you're off kind of in separate worlds. Well, that's a pretty easy solution. Take away the distraction, which it may be, hey, having a date rule or a relationship rule where it's like, hey, when we're in a certain environment and, and together at a certain period in time, then we're not going to have our cell phones out and things of that nature. So it puts you two in a position where you have to focus on each other uh, because you two are the ones that are face to face. That's one thing. Um, another thing is... Um, Getting people to just kind of open up a little bit in regards to maybe they're shy. Maybe you guys do like each other and you're attracted to each other. But yet, at the same time, you guys don't really know where to start in conversation. Um, to throw out some things. Throw out some common interests. Um, ask them about themselves. If you're the more outgoing person and that person's more of an introvert, then you know allow yourself to be a listener. Um, I know me and my wife, this is a classic for us. Um, if you didn't know by now, uh, I'm a really outgoing person. Um, you don't really have to say talk. I'm going to talk, which is why I get to do these videos. Uh, but my wife, on the other hand, she's a very good listener. So therefore, I had to make a conscious effort as the extrovert or the dominant in conversation to stop and listen when she's talking so that that way it's a reciprocation going on. Some people feel like, hey, I don't have to talk because you do all the talking. And so you want to give them an opportunity to be able to do that. Um, in your daily conversations and things of nature there. Um, also, when it comes down to deeper things, uh, things that you know you want to know um, in regards to why that person may behave a certain way or why they uh, responded a certain way, things that are really uh, challenging and deep and maybe even be trust related, you want to create an environment that is non-judgmental, an environment that's open and accepting. And so that person feels comfortable sharing whatever it is and not feel like they're judged. Um, and particularly talking about the male ego, um, we're very much as guys, very prideful. Um, literally, we're softies. I'm just being 100 with you. Any guy that says that they're not, they're an absolute liar um, and they're just not being honest with themselves. You, We want to feel like we're good. We're comfortable. We want to feel like, you know, we can't do any wrong. We want to feel like we are um, your best friend and the individual who you think positively of. So anything that may come up that may make you think negatively of us may cause us to hesitate in communicating those things. And so I hope that was helpful. Uh, I know that might have been a lot and there's a lot of different uh, conversations and dialogues this can go from, but this should give you a foundation. All right. See you next week.